welcome back. June 12th, National Peanut Butter Cookie Day. <laughs> love peanut butter cookies, and I really love this peanut butter cookie, and I'm going to tell you why. So many people ask, like I've said before, for healthier recipes or, you know, something that's maybe not as much butter or fat or whatever in it that they can't have. Well, this is a great cookie today for a couple reasons. Number one, it's only four ingredients. Love that. Number two, it's a low-carb sugar substitute version of a peanut butter cookie. It's great for people who have carb issues, um, especially diabetics. If you can't have real sugar or if you can't have a lot of carbs, this one is great. Now, granted, no cookie is recommended for diabetics to be great, but this one, if you're going to cheat and you're going to have a cookie or a couple cookies, this is the one to have because it's definitely not going to uh, really be as bad as a full fat, full sugar cookie. <laughs> so we're trying to do this a little bit healthier today just for some of our other watchers, okay? Uh, I've done this one a couple times before. I really like it for a peanut butter cookie. Uh, yeah, there's the traditional classic peanut butter cookie with the brown sugar in it and everything else, and that's amazing to begin with. But this one, if you want to try something a little bit different, this one's a good one to do. And like I said, it's only four ingredients, okay? So I'm not even going to tell you what the four ingredients are because you're just going to see it as we go along. We're going to put the four things in here, mix them, scoop them, drop them, bake them, eat them. Done. <laughs> Be right back. So KitchenAid mixer ready to go, okay? Beater attachment. Like I said, super easy today. I guess I should have got all my ingredients prepped here for you. Yeah, there you go. Thing I love about this one too is there's no scooping and measuring with the peanut butter. It's a 16 ounce jar. You just take the whole jar and dump it right in here. Okay? You don't got to sit there and mess with measuring cups and all this stuff. And then to your peanut butter, you're going to add two cups of sugar substitute. I'm using stevia, but you can use any of the ones you like, Splenda or anything, any of the ones that bake up, you know, sugar for sugar, cup for cup. Um, substitute, okay. Two eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, so it's two, two, and two. Two cups, two cup, <laughs> two cups, two eggs, two teaspoons, and a jar of peanut butter. Can't get easier than that. Okay, so we're gonna put that in here. Make sure I scrape all my peanut butter off my spatula here. And you're just going to mix this up until you have your cookie dough, okay? Get your oven preheated to 350 and get your cookie sheets lined with parchment paper. That's the next step because that's how fast this one is today. Alrighty, be right back. And that's it. As you can see, it makes a very clumpy dough. Let me just get this out of here so I can show you that, okay? See? Makes a very clumpy dough, wet dough, so it's perfect for scooping. Now, it doesn't make a lot, as you can see, because there's no flour or anything else in there that would make, you know, a bigger batch. So just, I try to flatten it against the side of the bowl, just so you have a flat side, because you're going to kind of press these down anyway. But at least... Gives you a nice scoop here, and then we're just going to press these flat. Let me see how easy that is to do. Because sometimes when you try to press them flat, it sticks. So I'm going to take a little glass here and just see if I could press that down without it sticking all over the place. No, perfect. I guess the peanut butter and stuff is oily enough, okay? So you're just going to press them down into flat discs like that. You can do the classic peanut butter cookie train track crisscross thing with the fork if you want to do that too whatever you want you deck it's your cookie you do whatever you want alrighty so I'm going to scoop all these out get them in the oven and we'll see you when they come out and we'll do a quick taste test of these fast show today but healthy 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 <laughs> okay real quick uh, I forgot to tell you I'm gonna bake these about 10 minutes 9 10 minutes just till they start to get a little golden brown I mean they're brown already so it's gonna be hard to tell they won't be soft when they come out um, and then just put them on your cooling rack to cool, okay? So 350, about 10 minutes. Now the other thing is, this batch, because there's no flour and everything, it only makes about 20 cookies. <laughs> 
So if you got a whole mess of people coming, you're going to need to double it up. I just did a second batch real quick. That's how fast it is. I mean, literally five minutes, four ingredients, boom, done. Um, so you want to make sure if you want them. And it's because it's only four ingredients and it's so cheap. I mean, peanut butter is on sale right now, two jars for $1.98 at one of the big supermarket chains. So you can make a double batch in like, for what, for $1.98, the whole thing, probably 40 something cookies, gonna cost you like $3, maybe, with the sugar substitute, if, or if you even have it. You could probably just use, with this recipe, regular sugar. I've never done it with regular sugar, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Even though the recipe calls for sugar substitute, if you used real sugar, yeah, for those of you that can have it, I'm sure it would be just fine. Alrighty, so into the oven, see you in a little bit for the tasting. Okay, just wanted to show you real quick when I said golden brown. See how they lighten up in color? I don't know if you can see the color difference. They're a lot darker when they go in and it's the raw dough, and then they lighten up. They don't really spread that much, so you can put a decent amount onto your cookie sheet, okay? That's it. Going to let these cool down. First batch coming out. See what they taste like. I know what they taste like. I've had them before. <laughs> All right, there they are on my cookie rack, cooling down, okay? So they're nice and cool now, we're gonna take one. Now, just to let you know, since I have made these before, this isn't like your chewy, normal kind of cookie. These cookies tend to be more crumbly. I mean, they're still kind of moist on the inside, but they're more of a crumbly cookie than a nice chewy cookie, but healthier. Glass of milk always. It's still a great peanut butter cookie. And like I said, sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. <laughs> a little healthier with the sugar substitute. Now granted, I know, the jury's still out. Some people say the sugar substitutes are no good for you either. I get it. You know what? Nothing's good for you. Just eat something you like. If this helps save some carbs and some sugar for diabetics, it's just for a once in a while. I'm not saying you're going to sit here and eat this whole rack of cookies. Obviously not. All right, peanut butter cookie today, a little healthier version. Try them, give them a shot. It's only four ingredients, really quick, really fast. Why not? All righty, see you tomorrow, everybody.